Alrighty, so this is going to be 8-2 in our book. It is talking about perimeter, but also composite figures. Now, when we do the composite figures, these are figures that we're going to put together more than one item. We are going to be using this page, all right, and we're going to start down here. A semicircle is one half of a circle. It looks like the figure drawn on the page. It's like, I don't know, a cow zone. Okay. So you have a circle, but we have this piece that cuts it in half. Now, a composite figure is made up of more than one two-dimensional figure. So two-dimensional means it's on the paper, such as you might have rectangles, triangles, circles, or a whole bunch of other items. Okay. Now, we're going to come over here, and we are going to find the perimeter of this semicircle. So we can first make a note that this is half of a circle. So normally, our circumference equals 2 pi r, okay? We've talked about the fact that two radiuses is actually one diameter. So we can use this, but we are going to have to cut this in half, okay? So we're going to multiply by a half. So when I do this, I know my diameter, so we're gonna go ahead and say five pi, but we're gonna remember that it still has to be cut in half. Now, we're just going to multiply these together. We're gonna use 3.14 is our pi, so we can do five times 3.14 times a half, but I know a half is 0.5 and we get 7.85, but we're not done. This one, because it's a semicircle, still has this piece. There is an actual piece that is there. So what we're gonna need to do is we're going to need to add that five inches to our answer. And our new answer is, we're going to take the 7.85 plus 5, and we get 12.85, and those are inches. So the only thing different is we have to remember this piece here. Okay? Alrighty. Here's another one we're going to find the perimeter of. We need to start at a certain spot. I know this is seven, so I know this piece up here is also seven meters. So I'm gonna start here, so I'm gonna go ahead and start, letting me know I'm starting there so I don't get lost. And I'm going to go around. So I'm gonna add a four to this, a seven. We have a three over here, and a five. Okay. When I add these all up, I get 26 meters. And that's all we have to do for this problem. Now, the other one we're going to do is this one. I can see that I have this rectangle shape. So I know this is 8 inches. Okay. I can also see that I have this here, which is a circle. And since it was a semicircle, but when we put them back together, we have one circle. So what we can do is we can use circumference equals two pi r, but since I have two radiuses, I know that is one diameter. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Our diameter is five, and we still have the pi. Alrighty. And we're going to multiply that. So we're going to do 5 times 3.14. We get 15.7. And we're not done yet because we now need to add on this piece and this piece. So we're going to add to this 8 plus 8. 
So that 15.7 that we found for the circles is going to be added to these straight pieces. When we do that, we're gonna get 15.7 plus eight plus another eight, and that is 31.7 inches. All right, and these are known as composite shapes because they're more than one shape put together. 